way um, back in the day. Do they still? I don't know if they still do that, but definitely back. Uh, you know, back in the day, they were the main ride together. Three, and two, so, Sinibu here actually has not. I want to say a lot of cloud practice, but he has good cloud practice. He has worked on his own cloud for a long time, and he's actually won one with Ned from Chicago, uh, a now ex PGR player, but could be, you know, is always basically still at that skill level, right? And he's played with Thor enough to know that he can do exactly what he needs to. Sheik is the only character that, like, everyone agrees beats Cloud. Yeah, I mean, Sheik definitely has the tools, you know? Fast, can Gimp, wall. Gimp, yeah, crazy Gimp for combos. Sure. Um, and frame data that, like, disregards Cloud's I want to say, so Cloud, like, he typically might try to wall someone out with his big hitboxes, but Sheik doesn't care. Sheik's airspeed and fall speed will just let her forward air and neutral air through that. Just run um, right around Cloud the whole time. Or she'll just run away in needle, and Cloud can't really do a whole lot to it. Yeah, so Thor's going to have to, like, set up a lot of baits, you know, like, whiff punishes. That was that was his first game. Yep. He, he backed the him. That was his first hit of the game, a minute and six seconds in or whatever it was. And that habit is sin, spot dodging. Got him like 30%. That is uh, that is kind of like the only really big known habit yep. of Shinibu is his spot dodges. Yep. Been featured in, oh my lord. So he tried to read that neutral get up, didn't do anything for him though. Not gonna quite beat it yet. And I think now he's actually out of the 50 ball oh, There we go. Nothing to be scared of now. Let's just uh, start it over, you know? Neil's Bouncing Fish is Sheik's latest confirmed for Bouncing Fish works until an absurd percent. I mean, like 170, even on these characters like Cloud, where they're just so heavy and you'd think that it wouldn't work at that point. But here we are. I'm not sure if Sin wanted that dash attack or if it was supposed to be a perfect pivot uh, for tilt. Look at that B button. Oh, my gosh. And dash attack. No grab. A little bit shocked by that. He actually chooses to back off of the platform there. I think that was a good idea. I think it kind of looked like Thor was going to come down aggressively. Yeah. And with Limit, you really don't want to challenge Bob like that. Yeah, Thor cannot find a way in at all. Every time he even tries to approach Sin, just validates it. All right. Yeah, and I think that's one of Cloud's main tools that Thor has been kind of lacking in. It's just this like short hop air dodge, or not short hop air dodge, short hop nair. Yeah. Creates this large circle that says you can't go here. And while she can sometimes punish it, so long as you space it correctly, you should be fine. Yeah. And you know, full hop air dodge is a thing too. <laughs> So, that we haven't seen Thor like really. I mean, I try. think I think that's one of the things where Sinibu actually like respected Thor, and that's the reason that worked. Um, just going for moves, knowing that your opponent won't air dodge because they're not gonna be scared and yep. mad. Uh, I think is a very valid strategy at this kind of level of play. Yeah, definitely. Um, Thor has improved so much in the past like two months. And we're talking like went from like 17th at the monthly prior, and then he got fifth at the next one. And that one was harder. There was harder competition there. But. Yeah, Thor is someone you never want to sleep on. Sin knows this. Um, so, well, and yet here he is, laughing his butt off. Look at this dude. Biggest dumb smile on his new man bun face. Not even a man bun, he just has like this hair tie in. Oh. Gets punished, but not too hard for that bouncy fish. Slap him twice. See, I think this is a fantastic counter pick overall for Thor. Yeah. Um, she does. Oh my! What? All right, here you go. Okay. Okay. How do you land? La the latest hit possible from Abair, like three times <laughs> in a row. Jab. So Cloud's jab is, in itself, not even that good of a jab. It's just that Cloud kind of needs a move to box and say, like, "Get off me." That a was little a little aggressive. Uh, like, yeah, a little bit aggressive. Maybe anxious? Ah, uh, this is bad. Yeah, this it, is bad. It costed him his spot. That element cross slash, safe so, move. <laughs> yeah, the bouncing fish forward air air dodge trap is so nasty, and the worst part is it's coming back in ultimate, except you only get one air dodge. Lovely. Yeah, it's great. But you can go in a direction. You can go in a little bit of a direction so if hopefully. you want to just, like, die. Yeah, Especially go, if you use your jump. You can go up, because I go up and in, you know? <laughs> Up and in the wind, guaranteed. Uh, but yeah, probably not. That's okay. And oh. so Cinebu just kind of 
gave that away. Yeah, he just kind of down aired in the middle <laughs> of the stage. Probably just because he's like, he, he does, it's interesting. He respects Thor, but then at the same time, he's well aware of the general skill difference. So he's still willing to just kind of go, I want to do this right now. Yeah, try stuff out. Yeah, what are, what are he's you going to do? Or willing to test. Or throw a bouncing fish. That works to like 80% on cloud. Lovely. Why not? That was a fantastic, like, fastball up air right there from yep. Thor. Out of double the jab. Ooh. Ooh. And he catches the, you know, young 19%. Again, again that yep. was the spot. If Cindy had air dodged, he would have been fine. But, like, they recognized to each other that they aren't going to air dodge. Because that's what a quote-unquote bad player would do there. Or someone who's panicking. So oh, all of a sudden. This is all of a sudden, I would, I would call this. Cloud's winning. Right yeah, now. Cloud flavor, yep. favor, and now he's actually definitely Cloud favor. Yep. So, and I think this right here is where he needs to start looking for that up out of shield, right? Like right there, if he had just instead reacted rather than. Try to punish uh, something. <laughs> then. Uh, panicked afterwards. Well, and I just heard Thor say, we'll go back. So they're going back to Battlefield, and I think we're going to see this double 3 0. Sinibu, even though he was close that last game. I felt, I could see in his play, he was far more confident. Thor, as soon as he realizes that, oh my gosh, this game is actually winnable, he kind of gets in this mode where, okay, now I need to win, which is generally good, but if you're just trying to try to pick a kill option repeatedly, that's not gonna work. And Sheik's gonna avoid you the whole time. Yeah, this is Thor's winner's life, and you can tell it already in his gameplay. Definitely moving a lot sharper than the other two. Sin though, so quick to punish the cross slash. Really interesting down tilt. Um, he barely got that perfect shield out, but it really would have caught that landing. And had Sin moved on past the light, it would have actually caught it. Blood traps, cheeks, you know. One of her strongest suits. Back throw bouncing fish. Yep. Also true to like 70% on cloud for <laughs> like, some reason. So ledge traps him, combos him across the stage, ledge traps him again. And Thor's here we still go. trying to get back on. Here we go. Still ledge trapped. See that? Bouncing Wish would have been true, but he chose not to do it. Try and go for something more optimal. That was not true. Uh, That's ooh. it. Did he jump? Thor jumped. All right. So this is a really good position for Sinibu. There's yeah. just no reason for him to ever go near Cloud. Nope. Just run away and press, uh, you know, B. But why can he, why you do know, that when you get combos? You know, oh, okay. Back throw. Oh, he held that out. Too. Did he jump? Oh, Sin. Okay, but he's got. <laughs> sin is he's got. Oh my lord. Thing. Oh my. Oh, Sin's he just like, jumped. He jumped. Yeah. Oh, but Sinibu didn't really go for anything too hard. Do you see that patience? He just kind of backed up and then yeah, Sin, crawled he's, he's back sharp and forth. Right now. Until that skid right there, but that's okay. And he's good with the shield tilt. And yeah, he is just running away now. He's like, you know what? Let me calm down. I thought for sure after he missed that tech that Sinibu was going to be going for that up tilt. Or up for the high recovery. Sin remained patient though. Sin moving so quick. This is, yeah, this Thor is definitely struggling to keep really up. Really getting out of control. He doesn't here. need to keep up when he can just put up a wall. You know, that's, you know, like Big. five feet in length. Uh, yeah, that sword is probably five feet. <laughs> well, and Sinibu only went for he only pressed up smash twice that game, um, and that time it caught him. So I don't know if we're great on a winners finals, or we might be getting. Our losers, losers, games? losers quarters. It's either pop out Survival. Fluffy, which congrats to Fluffy making it this far, mm -hmm. or winners finals. Thor Viceroy. I don't well. think we'll do oh, Thor yeah, Viceroy. No, yeah, right not away. right away. Don't worry about it. Shake it off and play in losers. Composure. So we're getting Fluffy pop out. Game and watch Sonic. So Fluffy is someone who. I can't recall the last time Fluffy performed poorly. I think the lowest he's placed at in like two seasons was like two months ago. No, not two months ago. Two or three weeks ago when he had to play like me for 17. I think that was the lowest he had placed in like a year. Um, he's always coming out to do generally good, but nothing crazy. You know, he hasn't really ever beat a Scorpio. He's never beaten Sinibu or Yeti or anything. But like he'll take games and sets from Lucky, from Red, 
uh, me and you yep. balanced. 